Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be talking about the important subcellular organelle that is mitochondria. So, in our previous videos, we have discussed about Golgi complex, endoplasmic reticulum, lysosomes, peroxisomes. So, here we will be discussing about mitochondria. So, what is the speciality of mitochondria? Okay, what makes unique subcellular organelle inside the cell? So, we have studied at school that mitochondria is a powerhouse of the cell. Why it is called as powerhouse of the cell? Because the mainly energy producing metabolic pathways present in mitochondria such as Krebs cycle, the maximum number of ATP is generating from degradation of glucose by Krebs cycle and electron transport chain. Okay, that is one molecule of glucose degrading by Krebs cycle electron transport chain will be giving you 24 ATPs, right? Same way fatty acid degradation also taking place in mitochondria, okay? Because as Krebs cycle is taking place, once fatty acid degrade, that means by beta oxidation, it is producing the end product acetyl-CoA, this acetyl-CoA enters into the Krebs cycle. It is easy for degraded fatty acids to enter into Krebs cycle. So that's why the degradation of fatty acid and Krebs cycle are in the same subcellular organelle. Okay, so to, to study about the detailed structure of mitochondria, okay, it's a spherical or oval or rod like bodies, okay, and the size varies from 0 0.2 to 0 0.8 micrometers, okay, the number of mitochondria in cell varies and to say RBC doesn't have mitochondria, okay, RBC doesn't have mitochondria and liver is uh, equipped with 800 to 2500 mitochondria because liver cell has got vast majority of functions to perform apart from detoxification synthetic function right so so many packed functions are there for liver cell so that's why mitochondria is a major subcellular organelle especially liver cell okay so to see the structure of mitochondria here you can see outer membrane okay and inner membrane the foldings are there inside they are known as cristae and this matrix where this inner foldings will be lying in it right so mitochondria bilayered outer mitochondrial membrane it is having two layered okay the outer membrane is made up of two layers so that's why it is known as bilayered okay and smooth inner mitochondrial membrane so outside is rigid and harder compared with the inner so that's why inner mitochondrial membrane will be smooth okay and it will be converted into folds criste and it has two compartments inner membrane space and matrix criste and matrix so imm inner mitochondrial membrane contains electron transport chain and matrix contain enzymes of tca cycle beta oxidation of fatty acids so as i mentioned earlier tca cycle and beta oxidation of fatty acids side by side okay because when fatty acid undergo degradation acetyl coa will be produced and the starting of tca cycle is acetyl coa and this acetyl coa enter into tca cycle and produces energy so production what is the main the main use of mitochondria is like it supplies the need of atps required by the cell okay the atps which are produced will be utilized for the need of the cell so the main function to say about mitochondria production of atp Cellular respiration, cellular respiration in the sense, so whatever the oxygen we are taking inside, whatever the oxygen we are inhaling, so where it is going? So it reaches to the lungs, from lungs to the circulation, circulation to the cells, tissues, right? Inside the cell, where this oxygen is used, okay? Inside the cell, electron transport chain, that is the only use of oxygen in our body, okay? The inhaled oxygen, will be used at the level of cell in electron transport chain apart from few of the enzymes require oxygen as a uh, coenzyme okay or like cofactor for that uh, enzyme activity so to say this is called cellular respiration where oxygen is involved in production of atp that is electron transport chain that is known as cellular respiration and oxidation of carbohydrates and lipids so carbohydrates glucose oxidation that means sequential removal of carbon i mean carbons from glucose and production of reducing equivalents that is known as oxidation of carbohydrates lipids you have, we have already studied fatty acid beta oxidation okay and urea and heme synthesis 
few of the steps of urea cycle and heme synthesis are taking place in mitochondria so these are all the important functions of mitochondria in the body so by keeping all these important functions if something goes wrong if something like uh, if mitochondria is not functioning actively so what are all the disorders associated with it so first is Luff's disease so defective energy transduction so Krebs cycle will not be taking place properly and electron transport chain work not working properly so in that condition there is no energy transduction so it's causing a disease Luff's disease and mitochondrial myopathies like oxidative phosphorylated diseases due to mutation in mitochondrial DNA that means here production of ATP is known as oxidative phosphorylation through ATP uh, through electron transport chain so if there are defects in electron transport chain and like that means connection of electron transport chain and oxidative phosphorylation if this is not happening no ATP so it causes oxidative phosphorylated diseases because there is mutation in the DNA so this is the only subcellular organelle carries its own DNA remember no other subcellular organelle they have own DNA but mitochondria carries its own DNA and Parkinson's are cardiomyopathies which are age related and degenerative diseases why because as we all said like uh, oxygen whatever the oxygen we have taken that will be used in the electron transport chain and this electron transport chain taking place in mitochondria so what happens whatever the oxygen you have taken it will not totally utilize it by electron transport chain some of the oxygen will escape from the electron transport chain and causes nascent oxygen and this nascent oxygen causes uh, what to say free radical production okay this is the main reason behind person getting aged okay so this is the logic behind Parkinson's and cardiomyopathies and antibiotics inhibiting bacterial protein synthesis do not affect cellular process but inhibits the mitochondrial protein synthesis so whatever the antibiotics we are taking so which is inhibiting bacterial protein synthesis okay it do not affect the cellular processes but mitochondrial protein synthesis will be affected by these antibiotics and mitochondria which is considered as a parasites which enter in the cell during the course of evolution so they are not present from the beginning okay as we said what is that at the time of uh, life one cell from prokaryotes to eukaryotes right so mitochondria is not there in prokaryotes mitochondria is there in the eukaryote so researchers say that mitochondria is considered as a parasite which has been entered during the course of evolution so that's all about mitochondria thanks for listening